How's it, everybody, and welcome back to another recording of Total War Warhammer. My name's Syke, and I'm joined by... And I'm Sigma. There we go, and uh, we actually ran... We ran... We ran... Uh, into another player that actually recognized me. So, it would seem Whoa. that, that um, people are finally, finally realizing I have a channel. Um, <laughs> Seems you're quite the celeb side. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I, I'm just this, this like sad guy sitting in his room making some recordings. Uh, anyway, so I promised him we would upload this game and uh, we shall do so. Now, we are still busy with our fidgeting with monsters idea. And uh, for this army, I've decided to just basically bring uh, three squads of skeleton warriors, uh, the Sternsman, one Necromancer, three Crypt Horrors, and then I have a Strigoi on a uh, Terrorgeist. I have two separate Terrorgeists, I have a squad of Argeists, and I have a squad of Foul Bats. The skies will belong to you, so Yes, all your sky belong to us. Um, so that's basically the Vampire Counts army. Now for the Chaos, has anything changed since the previous game, man? Eh? No, it's the same list. Uh, okay, you want to take us? So These things look so cool, though. They are, yeah, they yeah, look so pretty actually. cool. So it's three uh, Dragon Ogre Shagoths. Ogre Shagoths. One Everwatcher. Oh, yes, with nothing except... Uh, uh, rust. Then yeah. Transmute to lead, I think. Transmute to lead, there we go. Then he is joined in the leadership structure by... Uh, Cham aspiring champions. Oh yes, there we go. Yeah, on the front line I have four squads of the Chaos Marauders. Yes. As fodder behind them I have two squads of Chaos Warriors with great weapons. Yes. And then I have one normal squad of Chaos, Chaos Warriors. Warriors. Ah, they are hidden here. Yes. You know they have better shields than this, these guys? Really? Yes. They have silver shields? They have bronze shields. I don't care, they're fodder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our opponents for this game was a Greenskins and a Wood Elf. So the Wood Elf player who deployed on the side, uh, two squads of Eternal Guard, two squads of the Trican. I love these guys, they are incredibly strong. Uh, and Dorothy, who is also very, very strong. Uh, then two, three squads of the Wildwood Rangers. These guys are very quickly becoming uh, 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 a Big little threat. bit more prominent. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I can't. Yeah, this was this this was the uh, this was the opponent that re that re recognized you. Yes, that's what I said just like five seconds ago. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for paying attention. Uh, and then of course he had one branch wraith, and the branch wraith came out with the regrowth. Uh, no, that's that's earth blood, eh? Yeah, with earth blood, and then just with foe seeker. So that's a pretty good one. And then of course there was a treeman in this list. Our green skins opponent. He deployed one, two, three squads of night goblins, uh, kind of scattered on your side. He then had one, two, three, four, five squads of night goblin archers. <coughs> Scary. He then had two giants, which is a bit of a problem, especially for undead. Especially for undead, even though we have anti-large stuff, it's still a bit of a problem. Two goblin big bosses, uh, three squads of orc biggins, and his army was led by Azak the Slaughterer, which pretty much had any everything, including uh, Spirit Leech and Feta Pajuna. And then our Wood Elves opponent still had two squads of Hawk Riders, which was also oh, situated Azek. over and here, protecting that's, Azak. That's smart thinking. <laughs> it's very good thinking because his HQ on the ground and then uh, he's, he's the only thing in the air so that is a very cool way to protect him and that's it guys so let's get this game on the way so uh, yes initially we uh, saw our opponents and I was fairly happy drawing into the green skins uh, I feel a bit more comfortable fighting green skins than wood elves wood elves still confuse me sometimes um, I, I do well with them but I do horrendous against them so uh, off we go over here you can see that we are basically just flying our guys straight over the woods we're trying to spot everything that might be coming our way uh, and then we spot all the archers and we are gonna poop ourselves a little bit but you know that's life all right and as you can see they both the terror guys are immediately going off to the giant we're trying to just get in there and our strigoi ghoul king is gonna take a lot of fire from these guys our uh, Vargeists and our bats are gonna have to go straight off to these old riders on your side. What was that for me, man? Um, it just, I, I'm waiting to engage and then I want to send in the Dragon Ogres to fight his HQ. Ah, alright, and there goes Sartorial. So you've got the massive charges coming in there from Sartorial. You've got a big charge coming in here from the Dragon Ogre Shagoths. Yes, just madness all, all around. And there was a 
a bit of a flock of doom there at the back. Over here you can see that uh, we have now engaged with the green skins all over the place. These goblins are coming from the flanks, so they are catching us a little bit. The, this Terragon has taken a lot of damage, so I have immediately invocation of hacked on it. And uh, we're just trying to save it. So the, this Hawk Rider squad uh, is taking a lot of damage from the uh, damage. yeah from the Borgeists and from the bats. So that's pretty good for us. And then this Hawk Rider squad is going to basically just reposition out of the way. Uh, the Strigo Ghoul King has pulled back right now. He has taken a lot of damage. So I'm just pulling him back and just waiting for a better chance to just get in somewhere again. Over there you can see we are basically now going after Azak the uh, Slaughterer. And the giants are just wreaking havoc a little bit here. The hawk riders are coming in to, to assist. I mean, on your side. Uh, so I do my contact and everything is fighting around. Oh, yes, of the course. The dragon eagles have done a lot of damage to you, and I think he's running away. But all those. What the hell with the swords? Way. Uh, the Wildwood Rangers. Yeah, they're in there too, and they're doing good, good, very good damage against the uh, dragon Ah, uh, yes, dragon. of course, of course, they will. All right, fantastic. And then over here on the Vampire Accounts green skin side, you can see here we are still engaged in combat all over the place. Uh, we have now decided to actually go after Azak the Slaughterer uh, with the Terror Geist with the Strigo Ghoul King. Now, again, the Strigo Ghoul King is getting chased away by all of these That's a lot of archers, freaking so. archers and the madness that follows. So Azak has taken a lot of damage. We are casting an invocation of the heck from the Necromancer onto the Strigo. And Azak is going to run away, but we do not care right now. We are going to try and uh, run after him with the Terrorgeists. And uh, hopefully we can just re-engage in combat over there. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to catch up with him pretty soon. And over here you can see the Strigo Ghoul King has healed up a little bit now. And he's going to charge back into combat with that giant. Over here, the uh, two Terrorgeists have now caught up with Azak, who is no longer helped by the Warp Riders. And that's going to be pretty much it. He is going to get chased off, uh, mostly off of the map. I'm going to assign Strigo Ghoul King over there, and the Terragast is going to come back into the combat over Yeah, so what's happening on your uh, side? I've chased off Durthu with two Dragon Angus Shagrods, but one of them decided to, uh, decided to break. If ah. you scroll over, you can see Durthu die. Oh, wait, oh, wait. So I've sent one of them off to Duthu. Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. So he actually gets to him. He gets him and then they have to run back because there's a big fight still going it's on very there. very far. And you managed to get Sartorial uh, too low. I managed to give him very... He got very good. Yeah, and I can see a lot of healing still going off of these Wood Elves. So they are currently still very strong. So Sartorial, yeah. unfortunately, is not going to make so it. So I, 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 I got his Lord, but he's going to get... He looks like he's going to get mine. I actually remember he... he <laughs> he uh, yeah. typed a message in there uh, regarding <laughs> what happened here, and that was pretty funny. Eye for an eye in this game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much an eye for an eye. You kill mine, I'll kill yours. Eh? So I want to kind of stick on it. The, the Strigo Ghoul King has now pulled back again. As if the Slaughter is going all the way around the back, Strigo Ghoul King will be assigned to uh, get into him over there. And you can see over here the Vampire Counts are doing okay. Uh, over there, we've got a land from the Hawk Riders, and you're on 196. So it's running. You've got guys coming in trying to help and support over here. Uh, I don't know whether or not you're gonna be able to get there in time though, and he's on like, I don't know, like 196, and there comes the charge. Yeah, and that's those Wave Watchers. 85, and some of the Wave Watchers are gonna catch up with him. Uh, sorry, I just wanna go over here. So the Terror Guys to be here, they are gonna start charging into the Archers. Uh, the Strigo Ghoul King is chasing off um, the uh, Azak the Slaughterer, and then of course over here, we're still locked in combat with the and guys and there the goes Giants. Authorial. And there goes Sartorial, guys. So yeah, he d unfortunately just didn't make it. And uh, so the, it's not looking good for the chaos over there. Um, over That's here, so uh, you can see the entire army has broken. And if this was a one-on-one, -on -one, I would feel very good about it. But because it's a two v two, as long as his uh, ally stays in the game, unfortunately, he is going to end up rallying. And over here, you can see we got some massive torch going and off with the giant. We're trying to get rid of him right now. Uh, what we should have been doing is chasing these guys off with our terror guys, but we wanted to actually win the fight over here and try and support over there. So the this guy's running away. Yeah, that is why watch is so horrible. Oh uh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, they, they actually just pulled you into a tight little space. <laughs> yeah. And they're earth blooding. <laughs> yep, there we go. And they're earth blooding to heal, and they just end up killing you over I there. Must, I must comment that the uh, aspiring champions did surprisingly well against the. Uh, uh, okay, fair enough. So that's because they do magic. Then they do magical damage. So I'm bringing both the terror guys and uh, the, the Strigoi Ghoul King over here. To just try and help. The problem is, the moment I took them away, most of my uh, leadership failed on this side, 
and it's something I didn't think about immediately. Uh, only once I got here, I thought about the fact that, okay, I'm actually abandoning my army over here and there's more <laughs> stuff left than I thought there would Look be. Look at those grumblings. <laughs> yeah, that's that's unfortunate. You can just see everything. And all those hawks again. And now the, the hawks, hawks are charging. The revenge back. of the hawks. Yeah, the hawks didn't do well against me the first time, okay? But this time around, they are going to do pretty well. Yeah, that, those guys have armor piercing on the ground, so... That is very true, but I don't have armor, so I don't <laughs> care. Ha 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 ha. Actually... No, yeah, no, nobody has. The, 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 no. the, the dragons are armored. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh crap, they are armored. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so we've got some shattering squad of here. Most of these guys are broken again, so... If this was a 1v1, guys... <laughs> okay, I wouldn't be looking all this bad. Um, we would have beaten the green skins. <laughs> You're going okay. back again. We definitely would have beaten the green skins. I think, yeah, we are trying to get back over there now. We're, we're, like, we're like, no, this isn't working. <laughs> I no. made a huge mistake. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. And uh, yeah, so we are just fighting our way through this last Hawk Rider. We are going to go all the way back there. We are going to see if we can't at least get uh, these giants killed. If the giants die and if we can get the goblin bosses, if, if they end up breaking, this should be fine. Uh, the Stensman, which I actually didn't know whether or not I should put them in yet. They are taking <laughs> shots all over the place, but they are at least hanging in there like, like big bros. But the cavalry is coming again. <laughs> and the cavalry is coming to the side again, yes. And I can see over there the Warriors of oh, Chaos not is not well. doing they, well. They could not stand up to this way. Unfortunately, they did not stand up to the, and all those arrows. to the Wood Elves army that came in there. These arrows are bothering us so much, but we are going to try and get the, the uh, uh, Terrorgeist. This one dies, this Terrorgeist at least got into combat. This giant finally died from the charge from the uh, Strigoi Ghoul King. It leaves us with this giant and with two of the Goblin Big Bosses and then just buttloads and buttloads <laughs> of the uh, hawks. And the hawks! And the eagles! <laughs> the eagles! Gandalf, get out, get out of this game! The eagles have landed again! The eagles, Gandalf! Trying to say, but unfortunately, there we go guys, and it was a massive shatter and uh, there we go. So, unfortunately, we could not pull a win out of this one. Um, I think that the the if this was not a 2v2, the Greenskins army would have would have died a couple of times, um, but unfortunately, the Wood Elf army um, was played very well, and it was a well constructed Wood Elf army by uh, LL twenty six, and uh, yeah, you know, just just taking the Warriors of Chaos a little bit to school over there, um, <laughs> but it was mostly because of the uh, the Wildwood Rangers. These and things that, did yeah. incredibly well, and I gotta say, these guys are actually like I like them, but I've overlooked them quite a bit um, because they're kind of expensive for what they do. Yeah, they got like unarmored great swords. Yeah, but uh, if you're gonna take on like armored guys uh, that potentially does armor piercing damage back then these guys are actually pretty good. So they're a little situational, but they are pretty good, the the absolute correct situation. So I'll be at the tail of the tape. Um, 10 kills on the Strigoi, 11 and 56. 10 over there, 30 over there, 26, 55 and 17. So uh, not, not insane amount of kills um, from this army, but I mean, this is more a terror based army. So we trying to just get everybody to run away at the same time, which leads to a chain shadow which wins games. Uh, we've managed to do that, but the Wood Elves held in there, uh, kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> so, uh, and then on the Warriors of Chaos, uh, how did your kills look, man? Um, uh, it's about an average, about 30 kills. I've got, I got one greater uh, Warriors of Chaos with great weapons, which got 86 kills. Mm. So Thoriel did 27, and the three Dragon Ugga Shagoths did about 35 on average. Black on average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nothing spectacular. Okay, so there we go. LL26, like I promised, this game is going to be on my channel. Uh, very well played, guys. GG to our opponents. Um, you can't win all the games out there, as we've seen last week and and now again. But like I said, guys, if you, if you can manage a 60% win rate across all of your games, then you're still doing well. Um, and that's it from me. Is there anything else from you? For that's this what, one? That was Way Watchers. Those way watchers, man. Those way no, they're the Wildwood Rangers, dude. You, you're talking about them. Yeah, no, no, that's great. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They're very good. And the Eagles. <laughs> and the Eagles. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you like the content on this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can leave a comment. You can leave a like. I try and get to uh, all of them whenever I can. Uh, a while ago, we, we said this, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm still considering doing this. Guys, if you have any replays of games that you thought you played well, 
or uh, games where interesting things happened, you can always send them to me. My uh, email address is in the description below. And uh, we are more than happy to, if Sigma's here, he'll, he'll uh, you know, sit in. Um, but if, yeah, he's, yeah, if, yeah. if he's not here, then I'm happy to cast your games for you and to basically put them out there and show the world how much you kick an ass or how much your ass got kicked. Either way, I mean, it happens. It happens, <laughs> as we can see. That's it from us, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to see you guys for the next recording. But until then, bye. bye.